I hope you liked our trivia show. Have a nice day, and as always, go, go Tigers. Tigers! You take the moon, and you take the sun. You take everything that seems like fun. You stir it all up, and then you're done. Rattle, 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 rattle. So come on in, feel free to do some looking. Stay a while, cause something's always cooking. Good morning. This is your accent for Monday, September 19th. I'm Caitlin Allen. Here's Sebastian Carey. Let's get right to it. The first meeting of the Environmental Club will take place in Mrs. Plasky's room, 8 to 10, after school today from 2.15 until 2.45. This club works in the greenhouse and runs the paper recycling program here at WHS. Come see what it's all about after school today in room 8 to 10. Our WHS Student Council has a few openings for any senior, junior, or freshman student who would want to join our ranks. If you are interested in becoming a student council member and you are in the class of 2023, 2024, or 2026, please check out the membership criteria as well as the application guidelines and materials in your graduating class Google Classroom. Deadline for submitting applications is this Friday, September 23rd. Tomorrow, September 20th, immediately after school, there will be a short speech and debate meeting in room D220. The meeting agenda includes signing up for your competition event, signing up for the tournament schedule, creating a list of officers for their 2022-2023 season, collecting t-search money, $10 to bring with you to the meeting, and sizes, and setting future meeting dates and times for the year. See you tomorrow after school. If you can't make the meeting, stop by room D220 this Wednesday to pick up information. And now, a special announcement from Student Council regarding this year's fall homecoming. Good morning, Washington High School. Student Council is pleased to present this year's candidates for the Fall Homecoming Court. Please take notice of these lovely young ladies. During Academic Assist on Monday, September 19th, you will have the chance to vote for five of these candidates through your graduating class Google Classroom. Our 2022 Homecoming Queen will be elected from a list of the top five candidates from this first vote. In random order, each student's name will be announced, as well as the respective organization here at the high school that has sponsored her as a candidate. And now, your candidates for the 2022 Fall Homecoming Court. Our nursing program answers the call with Ali Vigno. The Educators Rising program assigns Grayson Snyder. The Lady Tigers basketball sends to the line Alana Settles. The Manufacturing and Engineering class designs their candidate to be Sophia Philibaum. The Kindness Club politely suggests Kathleen Perry. Representing Annual Board is Liz Menches. Student Council motions to elect Grace Musi. Joining from the Cosmetology Program is Megan Quarter. The Girls Golf Team nominates Peyton Finley. The Senior Advisory Board proposes Kata Blankenship. The Girls Tennis Team serves to us Reese Bachtel. The Pep Club shouts out for Selena Lopez. The DECA Marketing Program advertises Aisley Burge. 
The exercise science program promotes Anna Els. Our Tiger softball sponsors Addie Harper. The advanced choir adds harmony with Caitlin Norris. Hailed from National Honor Society is Jillian Lightfoot. The Tiger Sharks dive in the race with Joel Schaefer. The Tiger cheerleaders rally for Tati Nelson. The girls volleyball team sends Kendall Wagner. Our Tiger swing band stands up and cheers for Jasmine Mazaregos. The Media Arts Department broadcast their pick as Caitlin Allen. The girls' soccer team kicks it up for Kendall Seibert. The Spanish club sends to the Fiesta Chantel Johnson. And finally, the ambassador from the French club is Sierra Sweat. Thank you students for your attention. Good luck to all of our candidates. Thank you, Student Council. Remember, all students can vote to elect the Fall Homecoming Court right now during Academic Assist. Visit the Google Classroom for your graduating class to access the ballot. Voting for this year's Homecoming Queen will take place the last week of September. The Homecoming Dance will be held on Saturday, October 1st. Tickets for the dance will go on sale starting next Monday, September 26th. WH students will be able to purchase a ticket for $5 during lunch mods in the cafeteria. Ticket information for potential out-of-district guests are available in your class Google Classroom. There will be no tickets sold at the door the night of the dance. To all AP students, please remember that the deadline to register and pay for your AP exams that will take place in May is this Friday, September 23rd. Please see Mrs. Elder in the guidance office to turn in your order form and payment. There will be a cap and gown and a class ring meeting this Wednesday, September 21st in the auditorium. A meeting for the seniors will be at 9.30. The sophomores will have their meeting then at 10.10, also in the auditorium. Then on Wednesday, September 28th, Jostens will return and be available during lunch mods for ordering purposes. Additional ordering dates will take place in October and December. As you probably have heard, our fall homecoming is fast approaching. Student Council and our WHS administration hope that everyone who comes to this amazing event has a great time. Mr. Sorensen has some important information about the dance and also about ticket sales. Please make a note if you didn't get the answers to questions you may have. Good morning, Washington High School. I'm Mr. Sorensen, the advisor for the Student Council. And on behalf of Student Council, I want to roll out some dance details for the upcoming Fall Homecoming event. Our theme this year is Out of This World, and we expect it to be a great party. Our dance will be October 1st from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. Our ticket cost this year is $5 per ticket. Now, we do have some expectations about the event because we want everybody to have a good time. First of all, when you arrive, you're going to come in the athletic wing down by the ticket office and also be leaving from that same set of doors. We do try to open the doors about 10 till or quarter till as soon as we're ready. And then you have about an hour to arrive at the dance. So the dance starts at 7. At 8 o'clock, we're going to lock those doors. So if you're running late from your dinner, or whatever it is you're doing, pictures, whatnot, before the dance, please try to get there by 8. We will be locking those doors at 8 o'clock. Also, if you decide to leave the dance early for some reason, there is no re-entry to the dance. Once you've left the dance, that's it. You can't come back in. So please remember that. Uh, for this dance, it is a semi-formal event. Uh, we don't necessarily expect people to go spend hundreds of dollars on a homecoming dress or rent a tuxedo for this, but we would like it to be a little classy. So please don't wear those jeans and tennis shoes that you use to mow the grass. Dress it up a little bit, come nicely, and uh, expect to have a good time. Now our ticket sale process is a little different, but it has evolved over the last couple years and it works really well. 
We just need to help you understand how this takes place. If you're a w WHS student, the first thing you're going to do is to fill out a Google form. And this Google form will be available to you in your graduating class Google Classroom. This must be the first step. The reason for that is because that puts your name on a list that our student council members can use to see that you are a WH student and you're ready to purchase a ticket. Once you've completed the form, then you are able to purchase your ticket in the gym during lunch. Our student council members will be sitting at a table and they'll take care of it for you. Obviously, bring your $5. If you don't have a lunch, that's okay too. You can come to room D217 and get your ticket directly from me before or after school. Now, this year we are going again allow out of district guests. So as a WHS student, you are allowed to bring one guest accompanied by you. Now this guest must be at least ninth grade, enrolled in a local high school, or at least high school age, ninth grade through 12th grade. So if they're older than 12th grade or graduated in the spring, they're not eligible to come to our dance. If they're in eighth grade, they're not eligible to come to our dance. Please high school students only. The first step for this is for you as the WHS student, the host, to fill out a different Google form. This again has to be the first step. In this form, it will ask you to give us the guests first and last name and their grade level, the school they attend. Also your name so that on the list, your name and your guest's name appear together. Now this form does not take place of the paper form that you need to get from the main office. So you fill out the Google form and then you can go to the main office and get a paper form that has to be given to your guest. Your guest takes it to their school and their principal needs to sign off on that. And then that form completed, you bring back to Washington High School and turn it in at the main office. This then will allow you to purchase your ticket in the gym once that process is done. When the main office gets your submitted form and it's complete, they'll go into the form, put it an X by your name, telling us everything's done and you're good to go to purchase that guest ticket. Again, if you don't have a lunch, come see me in D217. Tickets go on sale Monday, September 26th through Friday, September 30th. So any day of that week, you can purchase your ticket in the cafeteria or from me before or after school. There will be no ticket sales at the door. So get your tickets during lunch. I know that sounds like a lot, but this information will also be available in your Google graduating class, Google Classroom. Uh, hopefully you'll plan to come to this event. Expect to have a great time. We're looking forward to it. I'm Mr. Sorensen. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for listening, and I hope we see you on October 1st. Thank you, Mr. Sorensen, for the information. And thank you to Student Council for all of the efforts to make this upcoming event out of this world. Today's lunch is pepperoni or cheese pizza, cucumber slices, and fruit. Happy birthday to Will Trail Hartson and Elijah Mitchell. Well, that's all for your accent today. I'm Sebastian, here with Caitlin. We'll see you all on Wednesday.